Good Hello. morning. I believe you have. Good morning. We were supposed to leave uh, at, uh, what was it, like 6, 7 a.m.? 6 a.m.? Yeah, and uh, it's now 10.46. Yeah, what happened, Houston? Uh, we picked you up at your house. I'm the one driving, so. This is true, this is true. I yeah. guess I, uh, I hit snooze too many times on my alarm. Did you take the uh, day off yesterday to buy yourself a new Gucci hat? <laughs> actually, I got this like three weeks ago, but uh, guys, Houston actually gave me the day off yesterday because I was sick. Tell him two consecutive days in a row. So I have Sunday off, and then he gave me Monday off. Because he went partied on Saturday night, got inebriated, and couldn't happen to, uh, couldn't uh, wake up Monday morning. I, so slept all Sunday, and then Monday morning came around, still sleeping. I mean, we can go with that story, <laughs> but that's really not what happened. About you should partying is, sounds cooler than being sick. I'll tell you that right now. But I don't want to lie to YouTube, you know. I don't want to lie to sound cool. You guys could hear it in my voice. <laughs> it's uh, there's been something going around lately. I know you guys feel it too. Dude, you know it'd be super gangster to put in like a Rolls Royce Cullinan, a legit microwave or like a convection oven, so you can make frozen pizza in the back. I see where you're going with this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Think about how awesome it would be to uh, to be able to store like a full blown refrigerator cooking station in the back of your rolls. I'd have pizza rolls on deck all day. Yeah, definitely. I'd even get this chicken pot pie right here. They're not that good. I've tried them. <laughs> this is where Mario good. grocery shops. This is the 7-Eleven by his house. So Mario grocery shops over here uh, every morning. Gets his uh, coffee and uh, you know whatever else it is. But today, blueberry muffin for me. All right guys, I love these blackjack machines at the 7-Eleven uh, gas station. Sometimes it lets you play $100 a hand. So let's see how we do. I'm done with it. And that's how you win, 100 bucks every morning. And now I cash out and we're done. All right, uh, halfway through the journey. It's always fun driving on a road trip, you know? But you know, me and Mario were thinking actually, if we were to go and like legit drive across country, and I mentioned it to Edmund, even Jesse, and I was like, hey, you know what? Should we actually go like to Florida from Vegas or even like California? And I thought it'd be a really good idea. And I was like, I'll just take the Gurus, you know? Those guys will be driving their sports cars and I'll just drive my regular SUV. But uh, to be honest, it's kind of slow. They're you know, going slow sucks, right? Got our boys over here. I'm like, can you see them? Higher patrol. They're on me. Uh, Mario, can you finish the fuel? Because I can't vlog and fuel at the same time. Actually, I guess I could. But in California, they don't have the little the things that, like, you, it holds the pump for you. So you just have to hold your arm. I know it's kind of lame. But. Uh, Got a trailer check. As you guys can see, there's no longer a motor in here. So, a bunch of stuff in store for this car. I've got a lot of options, a lot of new ideas, a lot of new stuff that I've kind of like sat, I've looked at the car for three solid weeks. It's just been sitting in my office. I've just been staring at it. Like seriously, just staring at it. Trying to figure out if I want to change anything, do anything new. And I figured actually that I do want to change some things. And uh, the first thing I'm changing is something major. Actually, I'm changing three major things. So I'm gonna stop actually talking about the hypercar project. I'm not gonna give you guys any more updates to it because I want to actually make kind of like a 90 minute documentary on the process of building this car. I'm kind of like not into the whole bullshit comment section and uh, knocking what uh, I've spent all my own time, all my own money on. And uh, you know, it's kind of something for me. So I actually want to create something really cool and a really nice production. So, you know, you're not going to see this car maybe here and there in the vlogs, maybe a little bit, but at the end of the day, this is something that uh, is like really sentimental to me. And whether I sell this car or not, it's uh, my car and um, I'm going to make it the way I want. 
So probably last time you guys see it right now. We didn't make that bad a time. It's 3.36, so let's see. We left at 10.30, five hours, right? Yeah. Did, is that right? We stopped at, where do we stop? Del Taco. Oh, Del Taco, that was my favorite place. I love Del Taco. Um, and I'm just looking for a good place to park because going to Iluso, unfortunately, they have no parking. It's Newport Beach, and I'm just waiting because I have a trailer to find somewhere to park. So uh, enjoy the struggle. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get there in the next like, I mean, we're we're one block away from Iluso. We've passed it three times. We're just going up and down the street waiting for a parking space to open up, so. So uh, Iluso has never, ever, ever gotten a check from me for any reason. This is their first check for me. And uh, usually they're the ones buying my cars, but today the tables are turning. And hopefully, you know what, honestly, um, I, I'm, we're gonna, we're buying a lot of cars right now. Today I'm only getting one here because I made a random crazy call, literally within five minutes that essentially put a whole nother deal together. And we're gonna go up to that place uh, next, so we're actually gonna stay in California probably one extra day today, but um, basically we're buying uh, about four cars. They look so original Tesla. You don't see those very often. So on a Lotus chassis, Lotus Elite with a Tesla battery pack in it. Pretty cool. Anyways, like I said, we're buying a whole bunch of cars. Uh, season starting, but a new business has arisen, and uh, this is the the spawn of the dealership. So you know, the dealership business is uh, the business that uh, we all. Uh, wanted to see coming so much, but I've actually created kind of not like a new version, but I've created a very unique product for the dealership business that I'm not going to be competing with anybody else. Um, and so this is the first of about six cars I'm going to buy in the next couple of months, two months, the next 90 days ish. And uh, you're about to see them. So it's just pulled out right over there. So Mario, head out. You go do an edit on it. I'm going to go take care of some business. All right guys, so you saw the new Huracan that Houston bought, the 580 Coupe, and we are on our way to Beverly Hills right now. I am in the 580 Huracan right now. We are leaving Newport Beach. Shout out to Iluso for hooking it up. We are on the road to Rodeo Drive, I'm about to get some dinner, and I am about to get some driving scenes of the Urus towing the hypercar. So, let's get to it. All right, guys, uh, good news and bad news. The good news is we're on Rodeo Drive. We're going to eat Italian food, my favorite spot. I'm gonna get some truffle pasta. Oh, excited. Bad news is, the Urus ran out of gas. It's on the side of the road. <laughs> I swear, I literally hopped it as far as I could, but I have a trailer, and there's all these stupid Los Angeles gas stations are this big, they're like this big, and you cannot do anything there. You literally are just like stuck. You're just stuck, you know? I can't pull in with a trailer and pull out, especially a stupid U-Haul trailer. It's got like a gooseneck on it, like, I don't know, three or four feet extra than it needs to be. So it's really hard for me to make U-turns and everything. So it's just, it's kind of a bad trailer to use. I just, I didn't think the Urus could tow my big trailer, right? Do you think, I mean, I don't know. Could. It probably could, but it was definitely not enjoyable going up the hill. And my other trailer is super heavy. So, um, I don't know. I'm just really excited to eat right now, and I can't wait to get there, and I think we're supposed to turn left. I never come this way, so I guess let's go to the Gucci store and make it left. Yeah. You would know. Tell me. I know uh, El Pastillo's not on Rodeo. It's no, it's like not, but we got to go to Rodeo and then make a left. Yeah, just go left. left. No, there's no left one turn, one Mario. Way. Are we meeting anyone there? No. It's just us? Dude, I had a plan, man. I had a plan. It was the coolest plan ever. I can't share with you guys the plan because one tiny little part of the plan is the most important part of the plan and he's about to back out. But I was gonna do the coolest 
funniest video ever, okay? Look out for that. If you hear me right now, if you're watching this video, if in like a three or four days after this video, an epic, freaking ridiculously funny video comes out, I made it happen, all right? But I can't say anything else. So Mario, turn the camera off. Well, well, well. Look who uh, sat up, up to dinner. Dude, you're like 30 minutes late. I know, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. We got a table for six. I have to pick this guy up, that's why. Is, I mean, are you the cause and effect of all he, well, he made us wait 10 minutes. Well, we have to film something for his channel, so like, you know. Can you like park, hurry? Yeah, yeah. You know? Let me, let me, yeah. Let's, hold on. What? Nah, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up, brother? How you Good doing? Good to see you. Good to, Good see, to see you. Good to see you, too. Go ahead and park and join us, you know? All right. <laughs> I can't say that on the camera. Just, you know, they got the Audis and they have the Lamborghini. It's a different situation, you know? Levels, you know? Levels. Come on, do something cool. Yeah, it's stupid. You gotta follow me because my yours is up there. Alright. It's cold. Why why is the window dead? I don't know, you're dumb. Houston, next time I'm coming to Vegas with this, and we're swinging it. So when is that going to be, like 2022? No, that's, right? When's your next show? When's your next show? Um, I don't know, like March-ish? March. Well, I don't know, I think I'm going to a rally in March. Maybe well, April. The next show. Should we invite Amir to our uh, Do you event? guys want to see Amir? If we do like a, a meet and greet rally, Edmund's going, I'm going, Jesse's going. So you're saying I'm not worthy of it? I'm, not, I'm, asking the, I'm asking them right now. Would you guys thumbs up if you want to see Amir? You know, I mean, it's okay if you don't. All but right. I, look, I love Amir. If you guys, you <laughs> see consistency, right? So everybody that ever hangs out with me, okay, is always there for since the beginning of the vlogs to right now. You see Amir still in the vlogs, Edmund's in the vlogs, sometimes Parker's in the vlogs, you know? He's kind of uh, hard to get a hold of sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Let him do his own thing. But uh, at the end of the day, all my friends are friends, right? So are you I friends? Guess, yeah, we're, I love you. I invited him. I'm just asking <laughs> if you guys want to see him because I don't think he wants to waste his time. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you guys don't want to see him. If he me. brings some car biz hats and doesn't sell one of them, he's going to be like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, guys, let us know. I mean, Do you even I'm, know what it is? I don't even know what's going on. Where are we going? I'm going to drive from here to Florida, okay? okay. We're going to stop at like five cities, okay. right, on our way. And we're gonna do meet and greets and a whole bunch of cool stuff. And uh, I want to do like pop up uh, royalty meets. That sounds sick. And but I got one question for you. Yeah. Is this car worthy enough to join? Them? No, I think it's great. I mean, I definitely think you should get a new car. I've never been a fan of the Audi R8. I'm not saying anything bad about the Audi R8, but I think honestly, if you keep this car, just throw a twin turbo kit on it, bro, and you're super set. You don't understand how awesome a twin turbo five two is. Well, I've never been in yours because you broke it the day I got there. No, Edmund broke it. <laughs> this is true. Um, I was there. Shout I out to Edmund happen. Monday. That was the most excited thing. I was like, Twin Turbo Huracan, first time, never been in one because he keeps talking about it. <laughs> and then I get there. Oh, yeah. Um, Edmund just pranked me. In the well, car guess road. what? It's fixed. It's well, fixed now. So next month. When um, I go, and uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, dude, like, it's it's pretty nice. Well, I might even. Not going to lie. I might even be there next week if things go as planned. 
never um, know. You should actually come in this weekend. You know, there's a lot of people coming in for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, but uh, even if they don't go as planned, I mean, <laughs> Vegas is three hours away, and uh, you know, there's no content here, man. There's, there's nothing, nothing to do in Beverly Hills. Yeah, but we Hills. didn't do anything last time I was there, except for your show. Uh, what? We didn't do anything. Mario, wasn't the show kind of a big thing? The show was a big thing. Yeah, you're kind of like a wallflower. He man. came in for one day. You know what that means? One day. He's just chilling in the corner. He's just like, <laughs> I'm not trying to put you on blast. What do you mean? You, you came know? in for one day. You That's came true. in for the show. So I need to come in Friday morning. Eight hours Sunday during night. that day, we were doing drifting and donuts, and that, we were selling T-shirts. That by far was we were one giving of the best rides. car shows I've been to in my whole life. What and car show have you been to LA. better than that? N nothing. We had an, nothing. We had activities close. at our show. Tell me one LA show right now that lets you take a Huracan out. On the road with someone with you, you just patrons are in Huracans and in supercars, Never heard of and then we're sitting here doing donuts while someone in a GTR is drifting around me. Give me a break. Never I know the best goddamn car shows ever. 100%.